Well, I'm walking over to get my stuff. They're dropping off stuff like crazy here. This is huge. It's a huge auction. to the guy in there and he showed me it's cool how you can see right where it is now on the stuff he gave me the little pinpoint back there let's go get it and talk to you up here it comes out here boom okay cool right. see you in a minute i haven't picked up here in a long time is there jump boxes out in the lot come back up here if it's dead come back up here cool thank you One of the only people that has ever, ever recognized Google Glass on my face. This is all the sold lot. And he showed me it's all the way down here into the right. So I'm just going to go for it. Now you'll notice the other Odessa. Oh, that's nice. Toe, toe, toe. It says on the windshield. I'm not looking forward to this thing being dead. I got jumper cables though. You'll notice everything on this Odessa lot is newer than the other one. Can you imagine if my car's laying there, how I'm gonna get it out? <laughs> I don't even wanna think about it. We'll just see where it is when I get to it. There's no real order here on this particular lot, I don't think. Now my truck should stand out like a sore freaking thumb. It looked like it was pretty far down here on the paper. They're leaving a little bit of room in between. I should have just took a jump box with me. I told him I knew it was dead or something. Wow, nice conversion van. Why am I being negative about this? It could start. Nico, this is our deal, buddy. Let's see how this is all turning out here. Personal, the personal touch it's getting. Over here and I just happened to notice there's a Nissan here. It's sold, I can't buy it, but. 162. Manual. Just as I was looking at the Nissan, I looked over and there it was. Locked in with two or three. I can't see. Not needing a jump cable for something. You'll see. Come on, buddy. Give me the me. Wow. Okay. We'll let this warm up a sec. And we'll just hope that this one's a runner. Oh, beep, 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 sounds good. Huh. Okay. Looks good, the paint's nice. The wood's really nice on it. It's probably been redone at some point. I don't know, it might be a fresh original type thing. Looks good, is it painted? I believe this truck has been painted, but not to discredit it any. Um, it's a nice little truck. Let's we'll see what all we get on it. I don't think the back seat's hardly been set in. Okay, there's no power steering on this truck. Further knowing that, huh? 
Well, this one's gonna require a power steering pump. <laughs> The funny thing is, is somebody always knows the shape of these, but they're never disclosed correctly. So it's not warmed up. Last carbureted truck ever. Maybe last carbureted vehicle. Ever, by the way. Look at that Volvo. Ooh, Mercury Monterey. Hey, that's supposed to be here this week. This is not a sold car. Let's take a look. X. I think they pulled it. I don't know what these cars have in them. But it's complete. The back seat's not even hardly tore up. Nice. Not something I'm gonna buy. I think it has the breezeway. Yeah, it should have the hip. Breezeway window in the back. I'm gonna take a picture. We got it. This is an easy deal. We'll see what happens here as I get out of here. Good to you. I was doing better, I couldn't stand myself. <laughs> The last ever carbureted car in America. Really? Yeah. Nope. AC is ice cold. That don't exactly open so easy. You don't, the window don't work. You can look back from that way. Alright. Massive. My massive Woody. It's my massive Woody. <laughs> yes, sir. Goodbye. It's a pretty cool car. I buy weird stuff. This is weird stuff. I think I got the oldest thing out there besides that Mercury. I'm looking. Right? Huh? These are these are becoming collectors' items now. Online, they're getting up to like 70, 80 grand for these. Yeah, because they're crazy. Collectors. Crazy. I've always wanted one. Last, last ever carburetor in America. It's the last car built with a carburetor. All right, buddy, you're good to go. Have fun, man. Thanks. Yeah. Sometimes these guys are just really cool, and sometimes they're just not. Today, these guys, particular ones, were just really, really cool. Oh, this drives nice. Well, here we go. I've actually got this thing pretty much right where I want it. I'm just going to jack it up and load it up. It ain't going to take me long at all. Yeehaw! At the auction with Breeder and the new truck. And I'm going to make some videos about this, but I'll be doing a few of these moving cars around videos, I'll bet, in the next while. I've got my trailer. Right now I'm borrowing. Ah, this thing has loosened up over the years. And I just smacked that. This trailer is pretty a simple loader, I guess you'd say. Very easy to load. I guess there's easier ones, but I honestly would rather crank on that for a few minutes. Well, sure I would crank on that for a minute. See, how come you gotta be like that? But 
We are ready to go now. Yeah, buddy. One clean rig. This is the kind of deal where... I hope it starts again, you know? You never know, because you just hold it off an auction lot. Okay, here we go. I'll bet you that's about good. We shall see in a minute. Well, that don't work. As long as this thing don't take off for now. I'm gonna look while we're here. Oh man, it's clean under here. Sure is. Holy hell, it's clean. That's it. Now I gotta get my trailer down. It's a real simple process of turning this slowly. I think I like right where it is. Take a picture. Okay. And now I gotta get those keys out. What? If you see my transporter video a while back, you've seen a guy that I probably don't even know if he'd ever touch the chain. Um, I'm gonna go. Around the axle right there, I think. this off. I ain't got much battery left. I'm going to go ahead and get some more um, charge on this phone here, her Google Glass. Wow. Okay. It's getting cool enough to turn this thing off now. I've been having the AC on for breeder. I got that one tied down. I strapped the back down real quick. And I started to do this. And then I realized, hey! I should make some more video. doing this kind of work. It's easy. It's quick. It's a little more manual. And I decided I would put one strap on each side and one chain and binder on each side. I'm definitely strapping this sucker down though. Yeah, that's tight. I 
Ain't going nowhere. Actually, I ain't even gonna bother rolling this up. Actually, now I don't like that idea. It'll end up um, rubbing on the edge too much. Man, I've definitely got a little bit of... <laughs> this stuff left. What a mess. I don't even know what I'm doing with this. you lucky if I make it down without having an issue. That is tight. I ain't going nowhere. And I'm going to put one more. Just to be all good about it. I really don't think I need this. Whether I need it or not, yeehaw! Nothing I want. Ooh, the Audi cab down there is kind of nice. Okay, I'm gonna clip this off for a while. Me likey. That's good, man. This is a little bit wavily davily right here on the wood. But that's it. It's a nice truck. Well, I'm loaded, man. I don't know if nothing else I need to do besides just hit the road. <laughs> yeah, buddy. One owner car guy, just about getting out of here. What's Breeder doing? You wanna go for a ride? Do you wanna go for a ride, baby? Do such a good girl. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Over here. You gotta come up here. There we go. Did you eat your food? Did you eat your food? You didn't eat your food. Okay, let's go. Let's go for a little while. All right, me and Breeder have got it loaded. Yeehaw! Transporting videos. So I'm gonna make a video here. Also add me on Instagram. It's Instagram.com forward slash cereal marshmallows. I just got a picture of her on the trailer. I'm gonna take an actual Instagram video, which I don't do too much. Sit. Okay, we're out of here. Me and Breeder have checked everything out. It's ready to go. We should be all good. Oh, Breeder. It's a rough day, huh? Even when I really bear down on it, it ain't doing much anything.
Let's see if we can get this to work. I've got my flashers on. I'm gonna turn them off. No running lights, man, on the sides. I'm gonna hope these are just reflectors, but I think they're actual lights. And I don't think I've got any. I don't, and I'm so far away from home. My dad said I had them. I'm thinking it's that little piece right there that goes around the middle. I ain't grabbing it. Yeah, those are lighted. Well, I don't know if it's legal to, when you're on your way home, to start driving with your flashers on, but that's pretty much what I'm going to have to do. I'm a hazard. I can't get those suckers to work, man. You gonna do okay? Could've done without you, girl. She is such a good dog. Aren't you? She's like, screw this. I'm getting under the chair here. Okay, talk to you in a while. Okay, here we go. Transporters are all getting unloaded. It's a nice time of the day to be driving. If I had running lights, I'd be set. There ain't no really difference pulling this truck trailer with a truck on it or without it. It pulls about the same. I'm gonna get up here, test my brakes out, make sure I ain't smoking tires. Um, I got a brake control. Oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. I've never had one where it's um, controlled by the truck and not having the aftermarket. Okay, I'm going to go back and check up here in a second. No stopping at any time. Well, that's not like what we don't want to see there. We want to see, sure, stop here anytime. There's nowhere to stop here. I think I'm good. All my chains look good in the mirrors. I just like to be extra safe. It's a beautiful day. Look at that, I don't see a wrench watering thing out here very much in California. I... Beautiful day. South, young man. Oh, wow. I like shooting people over here. Hope I can go the way I usually go. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I'm going to shut this off in a second. And get on the road. Like Willie. Okay, this will be the first big test. I'll be able to... Oh, man, the front ones aren't even... They're not even buckling, man. We got this. As long as we don't get pulled over for no lights, you're good. I think the best way to address it would be to just go. And then if you get in trouble, I don't know how to do it. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. We left that open for breeder. I love people that don't like the fact I named my dog breeder. And she ain't never been bred! Look at how big that building is. Seriously, it's got to be 30 acres under roof or so.
God, look at that. The little green offsets look good on there. Okay, well, this is Norco. Norco is a horse capital of the world or something like that? More horses here than anywhere else? I don't know. One owner car guy, leaving. Leaving LA. Yeah, traffic gets pretty thick at the night times. Like right now, it's 7 Eleven. It is 7 Eleven. And I've been going through this for a while. I'm gonna stop at Aldi. There's actually an Aldi in California now. Up here in Lake Elsinore. Should be interesting. See how it compares to Aldi over in the Netherlands and the UK and all that. People just don't like merging. Other than that, traffic flows good. Well, I needed to check my load. And in doing so, I stopped somewhere where I've never been down here. Well, actually, I stopped here a few weeks ago. I can't ever, ever, ever push that button no more. I stopped here a few weeks ago, but they weren't open yet. Well, maybe one full crank on it. I'm having quite a time. This will be the loosest one, I believe. Weight loosens way up. I leave when I come back. Look at that! Look at that! Most popular guy on the road tonight, right here. That's really necessary. Especially in a handicappy parking spot. I'm sure. Douchebag. One on a car guy. One on a car guy.com. And they just now got Aldi down here in California. It's the first one I've ever seen. Oh, wow. Yeah. With the cart rental. That's cool stuff. Huh. You can't say hello to me. I'm trying to sell carts. Same kind of setup. Four eighty nine. Yeah. They definitely have set it up about the same. It's from USA, Argentina, and Mexico. Interesting. Interesting they got those too. Wow. Yeah, stuff is cheaper here. For sure. Look at this. Yeah, it's classier stuff too. <laughs> yeah, we're talking pretty cheap. Holy. I'm glad to see this. Wow. Dollar ninety nine for twenty brownies. Prices on regular stuff. They actually got honey nut, cocoa rice. I just wanted to see the prices. It's not bad. It's cheap. Here we go. Three twenty-nine for four cups. Holy smokes! Yeah, it's cheaper here. Eighty-nine cents for uh, cream cheese. Cheap. 
259 for three cups, not two. Three cups. They're doing the three cup thing for the price of two. That's pretty interesting, for sure. Yeah, it's far cheaper here. Let's look at some meat. That's cheap. This might be interesting. Dollar twenty nine from cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah. Dollar sixty nine for six bagels. Would you like to try some of our popcorn or popcorn? No, thank you. I'd like to try some what now? Why are you gonna make comments like that? That's just not even cool. None of the name brands are what we're used to. Two and a quarter or twelve pack. Monster. Hmm. Ooh, they did bring in some overseas. I was wondering. Some fake red bull. Okay, babe. 69 cents. This is awesome. It's nice to see this here in America. You're not gonna be that cheap on that. 219 for milk. That is a dollar seventy-five for skim. What the hell? These are gallon and a half? No, they're one gallon. What? One gallon, yeah. They have gallon and a half size. Interesting. I didn't come in to actually buy anything. Yeah, it is cheap here. Well, buck forty nine for waffles. See now this is usually three ninety nine for two. And it's three ninety nine for four. So I mean wow. Okay, yes I do fifty nine cents. For a big bag of marshmallows. Oh, I did my walking goal. I have walked this here town. Okay, well I just wanted to show that's cheap. Two ninety nine for all that bacon. You can twist. Flatware. Shoes. Noodles. Buck forty five. Ninety nine cents for noodles. Ninety nine cents for a noodle. Wow. That's cheap. Ninety nine cents for sauce. $1.99 for pliers. Okay, I think I'm done. I just wanted to walk around here. That's pretty much it. Tattoo right down the booby. Tattoo right down the booby. 39 cents a pound. Wow. That's cheap. Everywhere else is 79 99 cents a pound. 79 for cheese puffs. Yeah, this is cheap. Okay, well, I'm done. I'm going to cut this off now. Thanks for watching. One owner car guy dot com. I'm gonna walk right out. Oh, I gotta actually go through somewhere. How the hell do I get out here? There we go. Well, that was.
was fun. That was fun. Wow. Buck eighty nine a pound for ground beef. Buck forty nine a pound for chicken breasts. Breasts. I'm just happy it's here. I, I used to go all the time in the Netherlands yeah. and Germany and stuff, and now I'm just happy it's here too. Yeah, glass. Pretty cool. I mean, I haven't really seen one. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Well, it can be. It, it just takes everything from here and shoots it up there. Oh, but cool. Kind of cool. I like it. You know, the funny thing is, I just talk to it. Either I talk to it, or like if I get texted, it like vibrates my skull right there, and I can hear it in my head. Oh my god. And then you just talk back to it, and it texts them back. And so is that little piece a magnifying? It's a screen. If I look up into it, I can like swipe it here and tell it to do things and navigate and oh my god you'll straighten out your golf it'll straighten out your golf swing really? Seri yeah seriously thank you have a good night how much uh <laughs> two grand oh, man. well i haven't seen nobody with google glass ever either <laughs> just me sucker no i enjoy it I am going to enjoy fixing up that truck. Ah, time to go get something to eat. What, when, where, how? I, I don't know. Something. Cranking right along, and look at that moon. I don't know if you could... Shit, the street lights are closer, so they probably look bigger. Just a beautiful night, though. Looks like they got a truck broke down or something. I don't know. Looks like they got a bunch of trucks broke down and a bunch of cops after them. There's three, four cop cars there. Yeah, buddy. They've got the whole wide load guys pulled over. Fuck them with them. Well, I mean, there's a gallon of milk, some ice. Some English muffins and a pound and a half of turkey. I'm, I'm set. That's what's amazing to me. Eleven dollars and fifty cents. Eleven fifty. And I've got enough food to last me for quite a while. Versus I could have got a a meal for tonight only at McDonald's or something like that. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You waking up now? Come here. Come here. You want to come up here? We are back. 